It's a project that will bring high-speed trains to the region, connecting Las Vegas with Southern California. Now, anchor Justin Hinton spoke with Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg about the impact that includes new jobs and who will pay for this project. As we get closer to the groundbreaking of Brightline West, I spoke exclusively with Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg about the $2.5 billion approved in private activity bonds for the project. Without getting too technical, it's basically a, a way to use some of the uh, tools of our department uh, tax benefits to lower the cost of borrowing. Paving the way to lay track, creating an estimated 11,000 jobs to help get people from Las Vegas to Southern California a lot faster. Is that there's also a big climate piece here. Uh, this takes a lot of cars off the road, reduces congestion, reduces pollution, uh, and uh, runs uh, on electric power, which makes it cleaner. So there's all kinds of reasons why this is needed. It also opens the job market and potentially the housing market. Uh, population has grown, our economies have grown, many of our cities, including Las Vegas, have grown very quickly. We need infrastructure to keep up with that. That's what keeps things reasonable, affordable, and sustainable. Have you thought about the potential negative impact to Las Vegas locals when it comes to housing? Anytime you have economic growth, uh, it creates uh, concerns around housing affordability. We're trying to make sure that uh, uh, our uh, investments in transportation help with that too. According to Redfin, Las Vegas was the second most popular city people moved to between October and December of 2023, with most people coming from LA. During that time, nearly 5,400 Angelinos made the move here, buying cheaper homes than in LA, but pushing up the cost for locals. As Channel 13 advocates for our community and continues to address the concerns of affordable housing, I asked Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg about the potential lack in housing benefits for locals. But imagine with this rail, you could have the same situation, that people who may want to live out here buy a house here and then still work in L.A. We may see uh, some surprising patterns in terms of uh, what this leads to for people's commute. Some people might actually do the reverse, and uh, we can't predict all of that. But what we do know is that it's going to mean a lot of opportunity and a lot of income for people in the region. It's also why he says housing and transportation go hand in hand with this project, the first of where the industry can go. Because seeing is believing. And I think the first time Americans experience this kind of trip on American soil, there's really going to be no going back. In Las Vegas, I'm Justin Hinton.